The average college student takes four classes a semester. I doubled that and took eight whole classes. Here's everything I learned. Why in the world would I take eight classes in one semester? Well, I fucked up. I never want my college advisor. And here comes a show. I have 13 classes I need to finish if I want to get the fuck out of college. I met with my college advisor and he told me these words I will never forget. You're fucked. All right, not really, but he basically told me I gotta either take the eight classes or stay yeah. another year in college, which I am not doing. I'm going to tell you every single important tool trick I learned to make this semester just a little easier <clears throat> and not do too bad. I'll see you at the end with my grades. So when I was making this video, I considered just sharing y'all some time management tactics, tricks and hacks, everything you see on the internet. All right, there's so many I can name. Pomodoro technique, time blocking, the two minute rule, Eisenhower matrix, ABCDE method, blah, 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 blah. All right, so on. You already know all of them, but here's the truth. You might want to get some popcorn for this. The reason there's so many of these methods, techniques, strategies, whatever, it's the same reason there are so many fad diets in the fitness industry. None of them actually solve the problem. There is no time management system, procrastination, any method, or productivity hack that's going to give you the underlying thing that you need in order to stay on your course. Discipline. All right? And I'm not here just to tell you, oh, you need more discipline. You need to try harder. I've already heard that plenty of times and that just does not fucking help. It's like telling someone who's going ballistic in a fiery rage to calm down. It's just not going to help. So throughout this semester, I found a discipline equation that completely changed the way I view it. Discipline is equal to the value of the goal plus the reward of the pursuit minus the cost of the pursuit. So let me break it down further. Value of the goal. What you want to achieve and what you will achieve. I really wanted to finish school and I did not want to pay another semester of college. So I value not only my time, but also my money. The reward of the pursuit. I set daily lists of what I had to do every single day and as soon as I accomplished them, I was able to mark them off. And this was incredibly psychologically rewarding for me because it was almost like a dopamine, like a video game. When you achieve a goal in a video game, you get that little dopamine rush and with each mark, that unlocked the power of progress for me. So I was extremely engaged to tackle the next task I had for every single day. The cost of the pursuit. This one for me was the time it took to study, the energy consumption, and just the lack of social interaction since I was basically at school all day, every day. So for me, the value of the goal and the reward of the pursuit, they both outweighed the cost of the pursuit. So this allowed me to stay disciplined and be positive throughout this semester. Your value of achieving the goal, it must be crystal clear. I wanted to be one of the best students in each class, <clears throat> also because I needed to boost my GPA, but this helped establish your cues and system. The reward. You need to focus on gamification systems. The same way video games are so addictive, you have to apply that to your real life. You always have a goal somewhere on a video game screen. You are led somewhere, and once you accomplish that, you are tasked to do something even harder. Yet in real life, I'd wake up every single day with no task set, just a dude living with no direction. What video game would you play that had no goals? For me, some of the goals on my checklist were to finish everything that I needed to get done school-wise before I could go home. I have this quote that I keep in mind to create a schedule as starting each day without one is like sailing a ship with no map. You'll be content with wherever you land when you could have achieved more.
So with all of this in mind, this made the process so much more enjoyable and engaging, but also made my ultimate goal more valuable with every single day. Anything that makes the process feel less intrinsically enjoyable, making it seem too difficult, too complicated, full of too much negative feedback, too time consuming, too fear inducing, because I promise you, I was scared to tank my GPA this semester, or too hard to see progress, will increase the perceived cost of pursuing the goal and therefore lower your chances of sustaining your discipline. I was able to find success because I was able to embody discipline. All right, and the moment we've all been waiting for, my grades. For signals and systems, we got an A minus. Control systems, we ended up with an A. Professional engineering practice, we got an A. Field and waves RF electronics, we got a B, all right, I'll take a B. Communication systems, A minus. Machine learning, A minus. Woo, let's go. Project design principles and applications, A. Oh. And then project design principles and applications. This is a seminar, it has an RP, which is rate pending. It's a two semester long class, so I would just say we got an A. And an introduction to philosophy, B plus. All right, I, I didn't really, that was like the last on my list. I was like, I gotta focus on everything else. Philosophy, I don't really, I, I don't really give a fuck. Sorry, Professor Madva, but yeah, we ended up with that. Yeah, I hope I taught you guys something well you could apply to your real life. I'm hoping to create more videos soon. I might have a series cooking up. All right, no spoilers, but uh, we'll see if I even record it since uh, clearly I post once every blue moon but thank you guys again please leave a like subscribe comment i appreciate all you guys watching and maybe i'll see you in the next one might be a year might be a couple months might be a couple days who knows with me but i'll see you guys on tiktok and instagram anyways